All right, question I got is what happens if multiple people need to use an account and it requires multi-factor authentication? So that would be something where you're really sharing uh, username, passwords, or sharing an account. And I tell you, you don't do that. And I'm going to tell you why. It's pretty practical why. Uh, and it's, it's pretty meaningful why here. Because what happens, and the reason the whole world wants everyone to have their own account is for accountability. You think about it. If you were to have a, I see it a lot in medical practice, say a dentist's office, and they're all logging in with the same account uh, throughout the entire, you know, throughout all the operatories. And there's different people going into those operatories using those computers at different times. Well, if a security incident was to happen, say you had a rogue employee that was stealing data uh, from the company, and this has happened and they're all using op one as the username and they all know the password. What happens is, is you really don't know who was in that room per se. There's no forensic trail of evidence that takes place uh, whenever you're sharing accounts. So you really just can't share accounts any longer without really taking that risk on that there's a great possibility that forensically you will not be able to determine which of the employees actually, you know, caused the, the incident or the breach or stole the data or whatever. That's why it's so important to have separate accounts for everyone in the organization uh, and not share any accounts. If you've got more questions, you'd like to have some more information about that, hit me up. I'd be glad to help.